Hello everyone. Welcome to Roots to Sprouts. Harvesting seeds from your favorite plants is a fun, but also it is economical for a lot of gardeners to save seeds and to grow in the next season. In today's video, we are going to see all about seed collections and this is part 1 of this collection. What are the seeds that you can collect from your garden? There are seeds which you can pick from the seed pods directly from the plants. unlike other seeds which need some processing in order to separate the seeds from the vegetables also we are going to show a couple of information how to store these seeds and where we buy seeds what you are seeing now is the perfect example for the seeds from seed pods this is the basil plant basil seeds falls off from the seed pods as it get matured let's take a closer look how these seeds are inside the seed pods as you crush the seed pods you can see the black seeds falling off from the pods and you can store this directly from these pods there is no need to process these seeds in any other way and it is ready for planting for your next season now let's look at another vegetable which requires moderate processing to collect the seeds which is nothing but a chili What we normally do, we let it dry in the plant. As you see, these are some of the chilies which are getting dried. As it get dry, you can see the color changes dark, but you can feel it when it is fully dried. This is our chili collection jar, which. Uh, in which we collect all the dried chilies from the plant and uh, this jar has different varieties of chilies like habanero cayenne pepper thai chili indian long chili and several other varieties i would like to show you few chilies how we processed and collected the seeds as i mentioned earlier seeds collection from chili is not a big process because once the chili is dried you can peel off the skin and you can start collecting the seeds and you can store it unlike few other vegetables which i'm going to show you later in this video let's take a look what we are doing with the chili seeds these are different varieties as i mentioned and you can see the size the shape the color how it changes based on the different varieties and there are several other chilies we have i just want to show you a few sample because the process is is the same uh, no matter what chili that you're trying to separate the seed so look at you can see a, a minor difference within the size shape and the color of the seeds between these varieties So we ran out of the small storage ziplocs that uh, we normally have. So we did a small DIY um, in order to cut um, and and store these seeds. And another caution that I want to give you when you are working on chilies, especially uh, to collect the seeds and peeling off the skins, uh, please try to wear gloves so that you are not accidentally touching your nose or eyes. Um, it's just a caution. and we normally put the small packs under one large big um, envelope so that all the chili seeds can be under one big ziplock so it's easy for you to search take and look at what varieties you have and um, you don't need to mess up with different varieties what you buy from the store versus what you get from your garden so just as a as a general practice or a best practice we try to do something like this always make sure when you store the seeds label it with the year and the variety of the seed that you are storing it's very important for you to refer back how old the seed and how long you have been using it so 
so with that uh, we are going to move to the next vegetable in this uh, part 1 which is eggplant as i said there are different ways of collecting seeds and there are different procedures involved in collecting the seeds the first one what we saw it's a basil where the process is very simple from the seed pods you are collecting the seeds directly the second one was the chili which requires a moderate processing to collect the seeds from the dried chilies the third one this requires some effort in order to collect the seeds from the um, from the from the eggplant which you see here which is fully ready for you to process and collect the seeds so we are going to show you some of the one which we already picked from the plants and it is fully dried as you see these eggplants can be cut into half and you can just uh, take the seeds um with With, your, with the help of your finger, and you can you can take it apart, and you can dry it, wash it, and dry it. Or the other way, the easy way, if you don't want to mess up your hands or fingers, you can just um, dip it in a water, in a bowl of water, which we will show you now. That's another easy way to collect the seeds. Let's see what we do. This is the other way how you can separate the seeds as i mentioned just dip it in a bowl of water and you can see the seeds coming off from the vegetable by itself and just repeat the process for other vegetables that you have so that and, and you can see the number of seeds that you can collect from each um, eggplant you you can you can see i didn't count but i can tell by looking at it there are at least 100 seeds in each eggplant what the size we had the more bigger or the larger eggplant depends on the size you will have more number of seeds i'm sure so very economical and you will get lot of seeds that you can share with your friends you can gift others you can store it for the next season and it's very very economical and the best way to make use of your plants drain the water and separate the seeds using a strainer so that you can dry the seeds outside on a good sunny day try to keep this on a shade so that it get dry quickly and place like texas when it's it's 90 degrees uh, you can easily get this seeds dried in couple of hours so it's ready now for you to store it and to use it for the next season We will continue to post more videos in the coming days about seed collections for different vegetables. As we come to the end, as I mentioned, we do buy seeds from the sellers, and this is not a promotional video, or I'm not suggesting or recommending you to buy from any of these sellers. But these are some of the places where we buy seeds. Normally, what we buy seeds, these are all. like a heirloom and non gmo varieties of seeds mostly organic and we buy the seeds from some places like seeds of india mi gardeners rare seeds which is also baker creeks and also we we take a look at our local nurseries and stores like home depot lowes if we find something definitely we go and buy from the local stores as well but 90% of the time we buy it from MI Gardeners Baker's Creek and uh, Seeds of India I hope you like this video we'll continue to post more seed collection videos in the coming days Thanks everyone for your continuous support. I'll talk to you all soon in the next video. Take care. Bye.